Hello friends, today I will be showing you how to make some fabric pumpkins. So spooky, yay. Okay, so this is my first time making these fabric pumpkins and I'm freaking in love with them. I looked up a couple different tutorials on YouTube to get an idea the way I wanted to do it and I pulled out some scrap fabric that I want to use and I made these three. These are the first ones. I started with this cute little velvet one and I made this one. And then I made this one. I'm really happy with how they came out. It was super fun, super easy, and uh, I have so much fabric to use. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I made them. These are all the fabrics that I pulled out to mess around with and make some pumpkins out of. And that is some polyfill that I pulled out of an old pillow that we weren't using anymore. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been using to fill the pumpkins. Yeah, so I think I will be using this fun striped fabric to show you how I made the pumpkin. Okay, so this is the piece I am using and the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out how big you want it to be and cut that size out and you actually want to cut a rectangle that you will then fold in half and sew on one side. Um, you can also cut a circle so that you don't have to sew it on both sides, you could just sew one side, but I've just been cutting the rectangles. So there's already a little piece cut over here, I think I'm just going to use that as a guide and cut my little rectangle from there. And so... Um, I don't really measure any of this out, you totally could, and you could just double the um, width of it, and that will be the length, and then you just cut that out. I just do it kind of wherever I feel it looks right, and that's where I cut it. And what I do is I just fold it over, and I see if it makes a little square like that, and then I just cut it out. There we go. There is our rectangle that becomes a square when you fold it in half. Yay! Okay, so now I'm gonna fold the two right sides onto each other and I'm going to align them. And we're gonna be sewing this edge right here that is opposite from the non-cut edge. <laughs> Okay, so now we're at my sewing machine, and I'm just gonna sew that edge. And you go forward, then you backstitch, and then you keep going forward until you get to the end, and then you backstitch again. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the other sides with the raw open edge and we are going to do a gathering stitch which is you set your machine to the longest stitch and you do two stitches along the edge here you don't back stitch so you don't go back and forth like i just showed you with the other one because we're going to be pulling on that so we don't need it to be secure so yeah i'm just gonna do that Okay, so there is one and now I'm gonna do a second one right next to it. Okay, and that's two. So now I'm gonna take these two strings on either side here and I'm just gonna slowly start pulling on them and gathering up the edge. You want to pull carefully so that the string doesn't snap, but yeah, as you can see I'm just gently pulling and just moving the fabric along and then do that on one side and then I'm gonna take the other side, the other two strings, and do the same thing. And you want to just do that until it is as gathered as possible. You just want to tie these strings together, and I'm going to flip it over and tie these on the other side as well. And then what I'm going to do is, since there's still a little bit of a hole here, I'm going to hand sew 
um, a couple times through here and kind of secure it so there's no hole. Okay, so I have tied off these loose ends and I usually tie them a couple times so they don't come undone. And now I am going to take a needle and a thread and I am threading it through and I tie it on one end there. And I actually am using a self-threading needle which if you're a beginner they're super helpful. They just have like a little notch here in the end where you could just kind of slip the thread in without having to like poke it through the hole. <laughs> I don't know if I can show it to you. Oh, yep. Right there. Do you see at the top there that little indent? They do also have holes but they also have the little indent which is really helpful for doing it really fast instead of <laughs> trying to get it through that tiny little hole. But anyway, so now I'm going to take this and like I said, I'm going to go sew through it here a couple times and you want to make sure that these kind of ruffles are sticking outside um, of the wrong side so that when you flip it around, this stays inside and it's not poking out. And there's no real like technique to this part. I literally just sew it through, kind of squish it together and just kind of sew, sew it willy nilly just to make sure that it stays stays secure and doesn't have a hole in the middle. Okay, so when I feel like it is good enough, I'm just going to secure the end and I do that by basically just like making a knot and just sewing through a couple times to secure it in that one spot and then I like to just go straight through and then cut it and I'm also going to cut these long ends here so now when we turn it around hopefully there will not be a hole yep okay so that is what it looks like on the other side Okay, so now for the top here, I'm going to do the same gathering stitch that I did on the other side, but I am not going to pull it tight because I have to put the stuffing in before we close it up. So I'm going to do that first. So I just want to say that you can do a gathering stitch by hand, but obviously it's a lot easier and faster with a sewing machine. But if you don't have a sewing machine, you could totally just do this by hand and you just run the needle through kind of like up and down, up and down, all the way around. You do that twice and you have the same uh, result in the end, more or less. Okay, so this is now finished. I am going to flip it inside out and start pulling it a little bit. And I'm going to put some polyfill in it before I close it up. Okay, so here is the polyfill and here is our little pumpkin. I am going to flip it and I will gather it a little bit before filling it. Okay, so now you can see it looks like a weird little pouch. Um, so I'm going to start ripping these off in pieces and just stuffing it in. So you want to make this pretty filled with the stuffing. You don't want it to be super loose unless like you're doing it on purpose. I don't know, for me personally, I like it when it's more kind of taut and it looks like, you know, a real pumpkin. It looks tough, it looks hard, it doesn't look like just a pillow or something, but I have seen other people kind of make more loose pumpkins where they kind of squish down more. But I try to stuff mine pretty, uh, pretty well. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of forming its shape here. I'm going to stuff it a tiny bit more and then I'm going to close it up. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna tie the ones on the inside real quick before I finish it. Okay, and once again, as you can see, there's a little bit hole. That's fine. Um, we're gonna be putting the stem up there anyways. Okay, so for the stem, I have just been using this, like, jean strap that I have from this purse that I made um, that I didn't really care for, so I just took it apart and kept the fabric, but this is a nice thick jean material that I think works perfectly for this, and I'm just gonna see how tall I want it, and, um, and then I'm gonna cut it. Let's see, that looks good. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna stuff the middle here and then I'm going to start by sewing the bottom and I'm just gonna secure this bit right here so it doesn't come apart and kind of stuff it in there and then sew around and tighten it all up. Uh, and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to sew up the top and then I'm going to do the lines. But yeah, so I'm just gonna stuff this guy real quick. And so it's easier if you have something to kind of poke it in there so I'm just gonna use these half of these scissors to stuff it in okay so once you are satisfied with the stuffing we are going to start attaching this to the pumpkin <laughs> Okay, so this part requires a little bit of hand sewing again, so I'm just going to thread my needle and you want to make sure you have enough thread for what you are doing, so don't be shy, get as much as you need, just thread. So I'm going to just secure one end and again, this doesn't have to be neat, this is going to be inside of the pumpkin anyway, but I just want to kind of go through the edge here a couple times. so. The stuffing doesn't just slip out and then we're gonna take this and just stick it in okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew right outside of the edge of that stitching so that we can kind of pull it tighter and I'm going to try to kind of push it in so that none of this sticks out and when I'm doing that I'm gonna go through the stem a couple times to secure it a little bit more So as I'm sewing, I'm kind of pulling it a little bit to get it to the right shape and just going all around. And basically I just go around and sew it up until I feel like it is tight enough and secure enough. Okay, so when I feel like it looks good, I'm just gonna tie it off and secure it. And I'm going to secure it to the stem because I feel like the fabric is a little bit uh, sturdier than um, the pumpkin fabric. And then I'm gonna just push it through to the other side here and cut it. I'm just gonna sew up the top here. And so when I'm doing this, I start from the middle going out so that the knot hides inside. And I'm kind of just poking everything down so that the raw, raw edge ends up on the inside. And I kind of sew in and out through the edge of the stem. and just push everything in as I go along. And secure it. There we go. Okay, so now there is one thing left to do and that is make the pumpkin lines. So for that, you can use anything you have really. You can use yarn, you can use thread. So if you use thread, you probably wanna double it up 
if you use yarn it's gonna be thick enough usually um so i think i'm going to just use yarn for this i have this tiny little ball of black yarn left that's gonna be perfect for this i'm going to be using my tapestry needle and these come in pretty large sizes you can see the hole is pretty big and the needle is a little bit more blunt and so I know it can be hard even with this to get this to through so what you can actually do is you can take a piece of string like a thin piece of uh, a thread and kind of wrap it around the yarn so that it cradles it like this and then you can use this and get this tiny little thread through here which is a lot easier and then just pull the whole thing through just like that and there you go all right so i am going to start from the bottom and just go up and around and around and around until uh i have all the lines i'm just gonna start poking it through and this part can be pretty tricky and you kind of really have to squish the pumpkin down and kind of maneuver the needle where you want it to poke out of okay and keep it squished and pull it out a pliers would be helpful for this also so i try to pull a lot of it through yeah so there's our first line so i'm just gonna keep going through that same hole in the middle there it is that secures that first one and this part can get tricky because it's hard to tell how much string you're gonna need so i just try to keep track of where they all are so that I can pull on them and uh, tighten them as I go. Also, this is a lot easier to do on smaller pumpkins. <laughs> okay, so when I get to the last one, I'm going to pull it through the top one last time and then I will pull it back through the bottom and I will tie these two strings at the bottom. So that is all of them and they look pretty good to me. I'm gonna just pull it a little bit more get it tight I'm just gonna tie it off boom now it's secure cut that off okay so here it is isn't it so cute yeah I'm super happy with how all of these came out they look so cute I uh, am a happy spooky girl I kind of just want to make so many of these and just leave them everywhere put them all over the house oh my god they're so cute look at them this is actually my first time making these and I can't believe I've never done this before. This is amazing. And I have so much fabric to use, jeez. <laughs> I can make so many different ones. I think these are super fun and easy to make and uh, it is the spooky season, so make some pumpkins. I really like this velvet one, look at it. I love velvet. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video and i'm really glad i finally decided to make like a diy thing because i don't think i've made any on my channel yet um which is strange because i make so many things but i just don't really have time to record it all but anyway yeah if you like this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you aren't already hope you have a spooky halloween and a nice day and i will see you later bye also, how do you like this new background? It's pretty spooky. It's pretty great, isn't it? Look at it. My clothes aren't spooky today, but my mind is. <laughs> okay.